Hi everyone, Amy here. I hope your week is going great and you're getting in some self-care where you can. Thanks so much for joining me. I have a really fun project to share with you. We're going to create a layered card using the Ness of Winter pattern paper. Apart from the sentiment, there's no stamping. So let's move down to the craft table. So in this no stamping card, you're going to need a normal card base. This is the basic white thick cardstock. It's an A-frame fold, so it opens out like that. Um, I'm using the Ness of Winter Designer Series paper. So I've got a piece that is actually 10.5 by 14.8, so that's actually going to cover the whole card base. And then I've got some other little pieces of the Ness of Winter and because this is the Art with Heart colour hop um, featuring Granny Apple Green um, we're going to be using some Granny Apple Green cardstock um, this is just going to be a little uh, design underneath I'm going to emboss this and then we've got some uh, little foliage elements here and also a little label from um, I'll put it I'll put it up there and yeah and the foliage so and then of course I've got our little um, little birds from the designer series paper that I've gone and fussy cut um, and some um, pine cones that you can see here I'm not sure if I'm going to use all of that but it's there in case um, yeah in case the notion takes me so the first thing is just to glue on this. So um, today's card, we're going to be using multi-purpose adhesive, so the Tombow. Um, I've got my glue dots here in case I'm going to need those, and of course the dimensionals. So I just got them on standby to see whether I'm going to need those at any time. I love this. Um, kind of this wood grain birch designer series paper I've gone for um, the cut going across the page you could al always go for um, cutting your paper so it goes down okay, it's up to you how you would like it right, that's our first layer now um, in our second layer we've got this one here so I'm just going to go and emboss that so I went for the Timber 3D embossing folder um, I'm going to use the longer side and I'm just going to have that poking out just from behind the paper so probably about there so I'll probably just use my multi-purpose adhesive glue for that And I just need to glue this down the side there. Right. Just a hint. Just a hint of the granny apple green poking out there. Um, now I'm going to organise this uh, onto the card so that it's kind of centred and behind there I'm going to grab some of this foliage. Now this foliage here has been cut in basic white so I'm going to use uh, basic white and we're not coming off the card, so just kind of coming here and coming down the card as well. And I'm going to use, um, so this one here, this is a bit of that lovely uh, Christmas vellum paper. And so we'll have that one. Coming out the center. All right. So I want to set this up. So 
extent of my paper. And I think I'll just go ahead. I'm going to use some multi-purpose adhesive glue. And I'm only just going to put a small dab here. Just so I can slide it around a little bit and get it in the position that I want. And also so it's not off the card. So that's one of them. Do the same with this piece here. This one's going to angle the other way. All right, and then we've got our little piece of vellum. I'm going to do the same with that one and bring it out into the middle. So it's our vellum. Maybe give it a little bit more of a highlight. There we go. Okay. Um, now adhered to grab this label. I'm actually turning the label this way here. I'm going to adhere this one like so. Um, grab some of this green we'll add some there sorry if you feel like hearing any noises around my husband is um, outside in the garden and um, this is my, my little craft room is actually a little kind of shared out in the garden so if you're hearing some noises, that's what's going on. So we're going to add here our gum, um, granny apple green there. We've got another one of that in the vellum. So we'll just add here that over the top to kind of soften that look. Oops, should have checked that. So you've got ones that um, go in a different direction. I'll bring that one over the top and down a little bit. There we go. It's very sweet. And we'll bring another one, a gumball green. I'll bring a gumball green in and we'll bring that one from the top. Interesting that that one wanted to curl up just then. Okay. All right, and we'll bring this one in. Oh dear, I think we're going to be hearing the boat. Um, my husband went out in it yesterday, did a bit of squid fishing. So he's obviously running the water through the through the boat's engine so sorry that's making quite a bit of noise in the video today um now what else have we we got here um we've got that piece of vellum that i'd started so we'll bring that one to come down like so now obviously I'm going to be gluing 
something over the top of all of this to kind of tidy up those ends. Um, let's have a look at this bird here. Um, and we'll definitely do some dimensionals on the bird. So I think the bird will look great there. We'll put some dimensionals down the base of the bird. Off. All right. Oh, I was. Oh, yeah, no, I could come down actually down here a bit and get him to be like on the branch, and we're still covering up. So maybe I want some dimensionals on his wings there. I was going to have him a bit higher, but never mind. the backing off okay there we go um, and then we've got a little bow I like to like to put a little bit of uh, glue dots on my bows pop a glue dot on there Okay, and now I could go for the glue dot kind of covering up the stems there. In fact, I will. I'll go for that. So we've got our glue dot going like that. Um, and the last thing is to actually adhere because we hadn't adhered this down. So we'll go ahead. And we'll just add some glue onto the back of here and here. Okay. Okay. All right. We'll go ahead and have a look at our borders. Looking good. All right, there you go. So there's our no stamping nest of winter card. Uh, the last thing that we need is a sentiment. So I've pulled out the Unbounded Love stamp set and I'm going to use the Feel Better Soon sentiment uh, just a nice small um, set of words that can just run underneath the bird I'll probably just do it as a, a little banner that goes across like, like I normally do um, now these words are a straight so we'll try and do that. Okay, and I've got a little bit of um, scrap white here and some memento ink. So we'll just go ahead and stamp over here. go all right it's stamped beautifully grab our scissors and we'll go for an angle cut go for a which angle for this card as you might go for this card probably go for an angle this way we'll see how that goes have a look at that. Yep. Okay. And I just wouldn't mind just trimming off a 
make it a little bit thinner. go and would like to pop it underneath the bird not sure if I'm going to be able to get it under the vellum now and place that up a little bit okay I do like it there Okay, now I'll get some little um, mini dimensionals. I'll pop some mini dimensionals. off okay. and we'll go ahead and just try to find some room underneath the bird It's nice and straight. Okay, and there we go. All right, now that's popping up there. So we'll just grab a little bit of multi purpose glue and just add a little bit of multi purpose glue under our foliage. Not sure if you can see what I'm doing here. just popped some multi adhesive glue under there and then we'll just adhere that down like so there we go yeah, feel better soon there's a cute little card and we've got some leftover pieces here all right, so we need to decorate the inside of the card. Um, so I thought I'd bring in maybe these. Like this. And oh, the bird seems to be yeah, needing to go on a branch. Yeah, all right, that'll look good. Okay, so we'll bring in our multi adhesive glue.
this on the vellum. bird because this is in the inside of the card we're just going to be using multi-adhesive glue and we'll have him come down onto this branch here perfect all right okay we'll just glue that down Alright, that's the inside of our card done. Alright, I'd like to thank you for tuning into the video and I uh, hope you get a chance to play with this gorgeous pa paper, the Nest of Winter paper. Um, I'm really having a lot of fun making designs with this paper and I've certainly got a few more up my sleeve. That I hope to share with you real soon. Okay.